responsible at 7 in the morning. I got coffee, so that's my hotel over there, Lake Louise Inn. And I remember the trick I learned last time when I was talking to the guy at the hotel. Like, first is the tram line. That's the name of the trail that will take me to the actual Lake Louise. Like, this is Lake Louise Village, but the actual lake is about five kilometers away. And the tram line, it starts over there, but there's no actual way to get there. So, uh, in theory, like to do it legally, you have to go back like a kilometer and then loop back um, because there's a railway tracks over there or railroad tracks. But the guy gave me a hack. You know one of those life hacks? He says, go towards the blue... I still remember, man, it was like two years ago. He says, go... And those garbage cans are still there. He says, go towards the... Walk towards the blue garbage cans. He says, you see over there? I said, yeah. And he says, then there's a shortcut. You can just cross the tracks. And um, the, the trail starts... You see? It's a huge, huge inn like these guys are making and killing you know i think i paid like 3 30 a night and they have five buildings it's not just one building you know like a typical hotel it's building one two three four five and i'm guessing each one has i don't know at least they're not too tall but let's say 50 rooms at 350 a night or 330 <laughs> man So when I retire completely, I want to have a hotel and a resort. If, if any of you viewers have a hotel to contribute, to donate for a tax write-off, let me know. Okay, here's the garbage bag. So I got a coffee, so the, the thing is open at the, at the downstairs. Of course, again, this is a resort, so... This is like a tall Americano, right? Which is usually like 350. But here it costs like five bucks. All right, I think I crossed somewhere here. Well, I think the guy said, uh, like there's a company there. There's uh, some kind of a railroad utility, but you can see here, there's a path, All right? So, so this is a hack, hack number one. How to find tram line trail and your and your what can help you is that this building over there on the other side that's the station what used to be a station I don't know but basically it's, it's a restaurant oh I think it's is it this one or is it that one Oh, I think it's that one. Yeah, I need that red one. Yeah, and you see here? It's hard to cross here. So I still have to walk. But the trail starts over there and it goes like this. On top of the mountain. And so this time I, I did it smart. I'm bringing four bottles of water, half a liter each. And then I'm bringing, I think one is like either 750 or one liter. And I'm dressed in layers so that it's, when it gets warm, it's easy for me to, to just take off clothes. Like I have shorts under the jeans. And I have two t-shirts under this one. Because it's a bit chilly now, I think it's plus 10, 50F. Oh yeah, this is the correct place. That was the guy, I remember he said, you have to go inside that parking lot of that utility company. And that's where you cross. Because yeah, because over there, it's too difficult. Oh man, there's a train there. 
I'm gonna be careful. Because they might have security here. And that's it. So there's a... But views here are unbelievable. Thanks everybody for, to everybody who checked out my yesterday's uh, uh, video from Banff. I really enjoyed that little town. Oh, and uh, tomorrow, so today's Sunday, so I'm doing I'm doing a tram line and I finally remembered the name of that second trail is called Lake Agnes Lake Agnes trail and I think I'm gonna I'm not gonna go back by foot because there's buses there I think I'm gonna now I'm gonna do the trail to the lake first lake and then I'm gonna relax there and then I'm gonna take that second trail and then I'm gonna come back to Lake Louise and catch a bus back because otherwise you know I don't want to do 16 kilometers 10 miles so this way it's like five and three and three back I think that's still 11 clicks but tomorrow they have a sign at the hotel at the entrance they said they have a sign that said a, a shuttle shuttle to Lake Moraine and I heard that one is even more beautiful than Lake Louise and it's only I saw it says ask for details at the desk at the you know the counter so I went in they gave me a schedule turns out these are like buses running through the day and it's only half an hour one way and he didn't mention anything about the cost but I don't care so the checkout is at 11 so I can go there for you know like let's say like now seven o'clock if they like the first bus see how cool it is so this is free parking but no overnight parking but see on that side and here there's bathrooms so this is the start of the trail I remember this bridge this is what is known as trail head this is what that uh, Lucinda guide lady was confused about so the main number to remember is number six or sorry about that number three so we're here so that's the hotel so we're here right oh Lake Louisian so I went like this crossed like otherwise you have to go like this you know it's like extra two kilometers I don't know so I cross here, that's the parking, you are here. This is three, goes like this. This is the difficult part, as we can tell by the turn. So this is the mountain. And so this is, so 3.1 kilometers and then 1.7. So yeah, it's less than five kilometers. And then you end up here or oh, another, uh, yeah. And then, I'm going on which one I think it's has to go and so it has to go somewhere here Lake Agnes Trail and Moraine Lake Road and it's not on this map but for now that's the main objective number three because there'll be signs with numbers so I need number three, number three, okay. And then that one goes somewhere here. And that's my 
my goal. Yeah, I see Tremline. Number three, Bow River, nine. But then over here, three, 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 then nine leaves. Oh yeah, nine, nine goes to the left, I think. Yeah, and three goes to the right. Well, let's the fun begin. What I'm gonna do with the coffee? No bears in the water. That's always a good sign. I see Bow River Loop Trail. This way and there's something going on there. Something closed. Tramline Trail this way bow river seasonal closure tremline trail seasonal advisory may to october they have some seasonal seasonal restrictions for wildlife tremline 4.5 kilometers elevation 195 meters 195 and uh, and the last one I did, that plain view, I was incorrectly quoting some some uh, literature saying that the elevation gain was 700 meters. That's BS. I think over there it was uh, around 430, 450 meters, and it was super hard. So this is. 195 so it's twice as difficult I mean two times easier so this is the first top so to speak where you can see the surroundings there's a road at the bottom that's the road cars and buses have to take to Lake Louise so basically it follows the trail through these uh, hills but there's no parking there it's super difficult to find parking I remember I went once when I was here, I drove first in my car and there's guys there, you know, standing on the road and they say, no, the parking is full. So the, so the only two ways to get there, trust me, that's another hack. The only two ways is either what I'm doing right now, when I see the bus, hiking, for, uh, way number one is hiking on the tram line so it's five kilometers no big deal or you can take a bus from your hotel and of course you have to pay see this yeah and the, the road goes like this like this but this is man so beautiful but I don't want to take a picture yet but of course I have my camera with me I know but I'm getting warm despite it's chilly outside but I already took off my first t-shirt and I take off my jeans at the top of this hill but I love these hiking poles you know they really help and they turn this into a very good training exercise because your arms your your back your bice your triceps everything works kind of like same as skiing almost check this out 
and the light is super soft very nice for photography you know because otherwise when the light is harsh pictures don't look as good but this diffused light is kind of like magic I think this is where on my first trip this is where I stopped and I took a picture the problem is there's houses there you know you, you don't want to have houses in your picture and then there's over there there's a some kind of a cellular tower Okay, I think I'm gonna lose my jeans, put them in my backpack. Well, this is better. Because, yeah, it's really... And I brought, uh, I have my bear spray. But I didn't bring my... Couldn't find my uh, bear bells. I think I bought them last time. But I think... I think I had them in my truck and then I sold it. But technically, unless you run into some kind of a man eater, bears are, they don't like noise. Right? At least, at least I'm making some noise with my. Now you might notice a difference notice a difference in footage between the prairie view trail video and this one on Prairie View Trail, I use the chest mount, and here I'm using head mount. Now we're gonna cross that creek. Uh, there'll be a turn, and a little bridge. And uh, I didn't bring a map. But I have my cell phone with me and the GPS on the cell phone shows the trail. And plus there's uh, signs at, uh, at uh, junctions. So I just need to look for number three, trail number three. And uh, my policy with these hiking videos, which I really you know, I started enjoying this activity. This is my what third one. So first one was a tram line, the same, the same trail two years ago. Then what? One week or two weeks ago, I did the Prairie View Trail. And this is the third time only in my life, I think, that I'm hiking, and I really enjoy this because it's easy to to adjust the load so to speak so if you are tired you just stop sit on a log have a sip of water smoke a cigarette no I'm kidding I don't smoke but I mean you can stop and relax right and take a break or you can increase your speed or you can decrease your speed so it's super flexible but I probably would not do it without these I really like this four points of contact. Yeah, see, number on the tree. White number on a green circle with a yellow background. You, we are on trail number three, tram line. Thank you. And this is the bridge. And I remember here I was confused because there's two trails here. You know, I, I stopped here and I was looking at my phone 
because one trail goes this way but then of course you have to see here it says Lake Louise this way that one is uh, Louise Creek Trail so that one actually goes back to to Lake Louise Yeah, see, this is the Lake Louise Trail. That one that came from there. And this is Tramline. And for some reason, there's a sign there that says area closed. What? When I started, the only trail that was closed was that uh, other one where there were signs lying on the ground. But. Maybe that's why I don't see any hikers. I'm like the only guy on the trail, which doesn't feel very inspiring. But yeah, I see this trail. It's really much nicer than that crazy prairie view. Prairie view trail, this is much, you know, like the angle is way, way lower. No, but at least, see, that's another reason to take a bus back. I hope that other one, Lake Agnes Trail, is not closed. Oh yeah, I wanted to say that uh, it's my personal policy, so always to record a video when you hike, in case something happens and you disappear, and then they find the camera. You know, that's how they make these uh, lost footage found types of Hollywood blockbusters. And then you become famous, you know, posthumously, as they say, after death. So always bring a camera. I see here there's no signs. You know what? One, one thing I forgot? I forgot two things actually. I forgot my water purifier bottle at home. Took it on a prairie view trail, but forgot it this time because this water is so clear. It would be cool to try water from Lake Louise itself. I forgot that one. And the second thing I forgot is I forgot my QD, whatever, XQD card reader. So I had really big trouble yesterday trying to download photos from the camera into the computer. Because usually I just use that XQD card reader and it's simple and fast had to use a cable but it worked but now all those photos are sitting in my photos app that actually i rarely use usually I just transfer all the images into a folder on my computer called nikon and then create another subfolder with a date or you know like geographical name like tramline 23 I mean, uh, band of 23. So, 
that's why I did not include any pictures in the yesterday's video about Banff. I'm gonna do a separate video. I'm gonna combine all the photos from Banff, Lake Louise, Lake Agnes, and maybe Moraine Lake, where I'm going tomorrow. Just gonna do like a slideshow with the running commentary in the back. I know some people enjoy that. But why there's no hikers? I can still hear the road, but very, very far away, even though it's over there 200 meters. I think it's this one, but I remember there was one spot where you have to go like 5-10 meters on the road. Let me just double check. What? Oh yeah, sorry, I was looking, <laughs> I get scared, I was looking at the white line, which is the road, the Moraine Lake Road. <sighs> yeah, I just keep going straight, yeah, just across. So, oh, I did the turn. There was this turn, but I like it, it's so, you know, like moderate. So I, I'm thinking in the future, for myself, I really like this under 200 meters of elevation because you know it's much more enjoyable than 400 you you puff like an engine and so yeah now i keep going like this north and that's it <sighs> so let's say this uh fairmont chateau directions 2.2 kilometers okay so i already did more than half And I found one trick, you know, just in case. See, like, I forgot my, that's another thing. I forgot the carabiner, you know, how to secure this. And so I put this like this, you know, my uh, bear spray. See, I can actually, when even when the backpack is on my back, I can reach like this and I can take it out, you know? You never know, right? Just in case. I have lots of water <laughs> and I still have like four bottles left <sighs> very nice water tastes amazing on under the open sky and I'm gonna do it like this so it's sticks out I'm still looking for the looking for the garbage can I keep carrying that empty coffee cup all right two kilometers three is done that's good this is you know <laughs> this is really feels like a easy trail and over there I can see how they have those barriers everywhere. Parking, parking closed, you know? That's where they close the road. There's no parking there. I think the most dangerous in terms of animals was that area south of that uh, small finicky bridge because here there's cars there's the road there's more noise so it should be okay
try to, if anybody knows what kind of bird is this, leave a comment. I think I want to take a picture of this. Ah, the trail. Well, I just saw the first hiker. It was a girl going there. There's another trail. Let's see if I can find it. So I'm only 900 meters away. Well, actually, there's no trail. So she just was walking. Like I'm here, tram line, that's the road. So this next section, I remember this from last time. This last section, oh yeah, and that's the new one over here. It's, uh, it's Lake Agnes Trail. I hope it's open. Uh, let's see, so I have this all trails. Thanks to that Spanish, a uh, couple of Spanish guys. They said, oh, you don't need a guide last time, right? Lake Agnes Trail. So let's see. 435 meters elevation, 7.4 kilometers. Uh, they would give you, right? They would tell you. Yeah, she like it looks like this. Like this is seasonal road closure. Roads leading to this trailhead are subject to seasonal closure. For more information, please visit PCGCCA. What? So, I don't know. So, for now, we're going here. And then we're gonna go close to the lake. And rest for a bit, have a snack. Well, I'm glad I reached this spot. So, be <laughs> behind me, that's wilderness. I was the only guy for four kilometers. You know? I'll be honest with you, it was a bit scary. And uh, information you gain on the Discovery Channel and... Oh, you see, like this one. Like, what is this? That's not even on the map. I think that just follows the road. You can just... If you don't want to go on the trail, you just walk alongside the road. But she came out of here. Oh, let's see what the sign says over here. Because I'm on uh, trail number three, tram line. Okay, and I see here it says no bikes. So it's pretty steep. And yeah, so this last section, we just follow the road. Actually, the road follows the trail. And another 10 minutes, and I should see the beautiful Lake Louise. And there's a creek down, down there. That's why it's so noisy. We came out of there, there's a sign that says Village of Lake Louise. Right, and now we enter the parking lot. I remember last time I was lost here, like, okay, where's, where's the lake? Oh, let's see this. So, okay, so that's number three. So that's my, uh, my inn somewhere there. So I took three like this and now we're here. Now I'm gonna take a break here near the Fairview Hotel. And then I have to take this, no, wait. Like, why is it... It should show Lake Agnes, but it doesn't show it. Tram line. It should go this way. Great Divide. 
Lake O'Hara. What the heck? Five. Maybe it's five. Upper Telemark. Lake Louise Loop. Uh, number four. Number four. No, it's not that one. Funny. Seven. Peito. Eight. For some reason, they don't use the same. Oh, trail difficulty. Aha, uh -huh, so green is easy. Oh, check this out. Green color means that it's an easy trail. Blue means more difficult. And black is the most difficult. So five. Upper Telemark. Huh. Anyway, I'll figure it out. It should be somewhere here. And that's the little beehive. Oh, Lake Agnes. Here we go. Lake Agnes. So that's the trail goes towards this Lake Agnes. Anyway, so let's go over there. That's where the buses stop, by the way. And if you're lucky to get parking, this is the parking, which often is full. Like I think it's pretty full right now. And then there's guides over there. And they have a barrier. If there's no parking, they say, no, get lost. No parking. I remember somebody online, I was reading about these trails and one lady says, each time we come here in our car from Toronto, we could never get in. And so I left a comment, I said, well, I would suggest you leave your car at the hotel and just take a bus or you do what I did and just and uh, hike. And here you just follow the follow the crowds. And I think it's yeah, just going straight. We should straight across this parking lot. See, this is the guy. What what happens if I cross here? I hate when people tell me what to do. I'm just kidding. You have to follow the rules, right? Oh yeah, there's a sign. It says uh, lake. Okay. And over there, there's a washroom. Yeah, it's a bit chilly here. See, like, I'm the only guy. No, I see a couple more guys in uh, tank T-tops. Like, look at these guys. They look like spacemen. Or astronauts. Must be bikers. And I think that's where you pay. Oh yeah, you pay for parking, they have machines. And I think over here, that's where you pay for the bus. So that's what I'm gonna do. Like on the way back, I'm gonna stop here and uh, get on the bus over there. So that was a good warm-up, you know, so I think I'm ready for the difficult one. <sighs> Lake Agnes Trail. Now wait for it, wait for it. Man, I love this lake. Oh, check this out. Ontario, Alberta. I see more and more people from Ontario. Wait for it. Oh, man.
I give you Lake Louise, Alberta, Canada. That's the Fairview Hotel. I think the rooms go for like 1200 a night. That's Canadian, but still. And that's where you can rent you can rent a canoe or a kayak. It's already pretty warm. See how it goes. What's Clara doing? So let's go see if the Lake Agnes Trail is open because I do see some barriers over there. But I talked to the maintenance guy. Like the guy was driving past in a pickup truck. Like right on this road. And I said, is Lake Agnes Trail closed? He says, well, I don't think so. But then I saw this. Oh, cool. It looks like it's open. It's just that they they did a shortcut. Uh-huh. Let's check it out. It looks like they're expanding the hotel. Yeah, you see? Lake Agnes Trail. This way. So it was originally was supposed to be this one. But there's something going on here. Probably because of construction. Oh okay. So the actual yeah, see, Lake Agnes Trail. So Lake Agnes Trail is open. So 
here just because of construction. <laughs> it's a chipmunk. Hey. It went over there, it's already oh, 10 feet away. All right, so where's the trailhead? I think it's this one over there. So that's the shoreline trail. And here we go, Lake Agnes Trail. 3.4 kilometers. <laughs> okay. Three kilometers, 430 meters of elevation. I think I can do it. Yeah, so that's what scared me. I saw these barriers. So a three hundred pound guy coming back. So if he did it, I can do it. And I had 
baked pizza yesterday. Why on earth would I have a pizza for the dinner? For dinner. Can't break. Slow and steady winds the Lake Agnes Trail. Well, you can see the water. Lake Louise to my left. So the views from the top should be unbelievable. See that in the distance? That's the emerald waters of Lake Louise. Huh. Nice. So one trick I found that really works is instead of rushing, I just walk with very short steps. Like look, but not here, here it's not that steep, but when it's very steep, I just go like this. It feels almost like when you're in a car and you put the transmission into low gear, you know, it really makes things easier. I don't have to stop and catch my breath, and as long as I keep my steps short, A sip of water. But before we do that, let's check how far is the top. Oh wow, so it was a steady, you know, rise, and now I think this will be worse. Because I'm gonna, gonna go right and then it's gonna have all these switchbacks, but 
Agnes Tea House is uh, 1.9 kilometers. Oh man. So, <laughs> so I only did one kilometer. But to be honest, this is pretty much same difficulty, even probably worse than that trail view. But I feel much better. I don't I don't lose my breath. So over there I was I really had to stop because I was like you know like out of breath. So I think these two um, running sessions helped, right? So I did uh, what Tuesday and, and Thursday. I'm doing that right as well. So kind of like attacking my fitness level from all sides. Jogging uh, slash walking three times a week. And then now every weekend I'm gonna try find a new trail. So last week I did the trailhead trail view. So now we're doing Lake Agnes. And I'll see what I can find for the next week. Maybe something a bit closer to home where I don't have to stay at the hotel. Yeah, good view from here. It should only get better when we reach the top. This is the turn I was talking about. So now we're pretty much going back in the same direction. The trail is over there. But now there are going to be some switchbacks. Yeah, 
that's definitely more steep than that part now look at this it's like a minefield I think there is a reason why we don't see any bikers over here. Too steep for bikes. One thing I noticed on this trail, very few people say hi. A woman was coming towards me with a very stern face I said hi she totally blew me off like I was some kind of predator but then a group of old ladies was coming over and they were first to say morning, howdy, hello getting close and once these uh, switchbacks cease this should be this this should be more or less straight line to the top Short steps, short steps, short steps, low gear. You can do it, Captain Sergey. Yeah, I'm definitely taking. <laughs> the bus back from Lake Louise to Maine forget it 16 clicks that's too much another minefield What is this? Oh, there's a present. Another lake. Mirror Lake. So Lake Agnes is this one.
Yeah, this is asking for a picture, definitely. Unfortunately, the water is not very calm. Otherwise, that amazing mountain will definitely be reflecting. All right. Nikon 6Z Mark II to the rescue. Uh oh, sorry. I didn't mean that. Oh wow, that's the view I did before. Well, we can see the boats. Now, the only problem is, see, I didn't bring my 28 millimeter. So now I have a 50, and it's just not good enough. This was good. <laughs> Quick break. <sighs> Come on. You cannot open the Zero point eight kilometers. Well, I did two point two kilometers, so I'm pretty sure I can do eight hundred meters. And then I'm taking the bus.
I can see uh, Trans Canada Highway from here. How they know it's Trans Canada because it has separated lanes. to this freaking lake. Do you guys know if this trail ever ends? Uh, or does it keep going it. forever? I think it keeps going for a while. Oh man. But you can go further after. <laughs> I cannot wait. No, no, it was 800 meters from the Mirror Lake. Now we're already halfway up. Come on, don't scare me. It's probably, it's probably 400 meters. Well, I'm just going to the end. Where's the... Yeah, maybe Tea House? But you can go after further. Ah. By the lake. Yeah, I just want to see where is a good view. Up there, nice. You have to go higher, right? Well, I've been there like 15 years ago. So. <laughs> Thank you. Now that's, here's a secret. You know what muscle group of your body get exercised the most when you hike like this up a hill? I'll give you one word. It starts with an A and it ends with an S. Basically, it's the butt, and that's why so many women I see here in Banff and Lake Louise, they have very slender figures, honestly. Now, here's an interesting junction. I'm guessing there's some kind of waterfalls in there. So what I was trying to say about the butt muscles, so if they bury me after this trail, at least my butt will look super fit. Very similar in appearance to that of Heidi Klum. Just my personal opinion. That Heidi Klum, man, is something. Which is like 50 years old. And she's still a beauty. Where do you want? Well, we're getting close. Boys and girls, I can feel it. In the, my butt muscles. I'm not sure why, but... Check this out.
So I'm guessing that's the tea house. Mirror Lake. Lake Louise, 3.4 kilometers. Oh, Lake Angus, 0 0.1. Sorry. There you go, boys and girls. I did it. Lake Agnes. Let's go check it out. Man. And like there's a building far far down below. So that that's the uh, hotel, Fairmount Hotel. And I can see a glimpse of the uh, Lake Louise 